The new movement, DJ Drewski in the building. We got a special guest. Josvani's pulled up. Yes, sir. Nice I, to meet you, I, I asked you, yo, is that your real name or is that some artist name? And you said, nah, that's my real name. Yes, sir. It's my real name, artist name, both. And for people that are just getting to know you, right, I'll break it down and then you correct me if, if I'm wrong. 14 years old, you start doing music. 18 years old, you take it a little more serious. 22 years old, you're sitting up here on a new movement, ready to drop some music this Friday. So sick. Am I right? Is my timeline good? Yep, timeline perfect right now, actually. I'm on point. Yes, sir. All right, see, I, I just, you know, I be doing my history and stuff, but I want you to really take it back. At 14, what made you decide, like, yo, I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, play around with it. I mean, growing up, regardless, I was always surrounded by music. My grandfather was a, mu a musician that traveled the world. You know, he played percussion in France, Mexico, mm. and, you know, all types of countries. Uh, he went to Paris. Um, so, really, that was my biggest influence. On top of that, his wife, my grandmother. She uh she was the biggest fan of my music. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away February fifth. But sorry you know, to I'm hear gonna that. Keep, I'm gonna keep grinding, you know, do me. Um, but that's really what got me into music. My grandfather. I even uh, grew up playing instruments: trombone, piano, and a choir for about like a year, two years. You know, so I was always surrounded by music, regardless right. where I was at. And now it's all making sense because when I hear your music, just the way things are formatted or just the way records are put together. I asked you, like, yo, how long have you been doing it? Because it, it feels like you're very, like, just smooth into it. Like, yo, I know what I'm doing. I know how to make records. And I felt like there was some sort of history in the family. Because I'm like, yo, a lot of artists come, they play records, right? And if you're not sitting next to a, a writer who's been doing it for years or a producer who's been doing it for years, you don't get that type of music, yeah, right? For sure. So I'm sure you was absorbing everything that was going on with the family, yeah. but doing it in your own way because... Would you consider yourself an R&B artist? R&B, hip-hop, I'm a versatile artist at the end of the day. Just an know? artist. Just an artist. Could jump on anything, jump go on crazy anything. on anything. Yes, when you played grandma your, your music, what was her reaction? Was it like, because you're her grandson, oh, I like it, or was she really like... Well, regardless, she mm -hmm. always supported me. You know, when I first started making music, I wasn't going to say I was the best, because, you know, right. everybody has their point. But when I first started, you know, she always supported saying I was her best. Right, of course. Which, you know, it's because my grandmother, but... You know, eventually I, I take feedback from other people, and mm -hmm. I don't, I, I don't take it hard. It's, you know, constructive criticism. I take it and run with it. Right. So I, as an artist, I had to just advance. You know, just become better as an artist, become better as a person, and I owe it to my grandmother, I owe it to my family, my father, my mom, all that. And it's, it's I love it because you hear the stories where family don't really support or don't yeah. understand, right? A lot of times, artists will be like, "Yo, it was hard because I didn't get support from my family." Yeah. Where in, in your case. You know, they supported as much as they could. Yeah, my mom actually, um, she bought me my, my equipment for my room. Like, you know, my mic, my headphones, interface, all that. So that's what right. got me started on there for real. That's when I really started 2018. So from 14 and now in 2018, you turn 18 years old. Yeah. And you said, yo, I I really know this is this is what I want to do. Yeah, for did, sure. Did that's you, when I made my mom buy the... Okay, so yeah, that she birthday, she knew. Yeah. That's how you know when mom knows. Okay, I'm gonna invest some money into him yeah. and get this going. But when you go back and listen to the records, like at 16 years old to now, do you hear a big difference? Like, what was I saying back then? I'm not gonna lie, the records back then I don't even want to listen to no more. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a it's a big difference from 2018 to 22 now. Right, it's crazy. It's a really big difference. I started off rapping actually at first. I was never really singing. Mm. So when I started off in 2018. It was just me rapping, just boom bap, really. Right. Trying to prove, yo, I can rap. Yeah, boom bap. Did you know you could sing, though? Nah. You never, never tapped into it? Never tapped in. I always wanted to. I always wanted to learn. My mom, in the house, cleaning, she was just listening to Mary J. Blige. Right. You know, all types of R&B music. I would sing along and stuff, but, you know, I didn't really think of it like that. So, you know, eventually in 2022, 20, I was like, you know what, I'm, or 2021, that's when mm. I'm Nah, I'm like, 2020, that's when I started, like, So, like, really going a sing. pandemic. Yeah. You're like, yo, I'm going to start singing yeah, on it. Yeah, that's when I, like, feel like I really advanced as an artist, for real. Who, who were you listening to, like, during that time? Because I'm sure people would compare you to certain artists, right? Yeah. Do you get compared um, to the Drakes or certain get, artists like that? I get Bryson sometimes. I get J.I. sometimes. Mm. I get Tory Lanez sometimes. Right. Mainly Tory Lanez most of the time, but... Because Tory really does great. the rap, sing thing. Yeah, like, so... Really who, well. But were any of these guys, like, were you fans of these people? Were you listening to their um, music? Yeah, I actually do like these people. I listen to the, their music often. Tory Lanez especially. That's one of my favorite artists, honestly. 
Uh, Tory Lanez, A Boogie as well. He was another one of my Shout favorite artists. Shout to Boogie. Artists. Yeah. Um, J.I., he's cool too. I, I, you know, I like his music as well. Um, Bryson Tiller, yeah. Right. He was influenced on R&B, obviously. So, if we had to do like your top five artists that you would want to work with, right? Not that you're even a fan of, because there might be artists you want to work with that you're not even a fan of, but your yeah. top five that you would want featured on your a project you're working on, who would it be? Hmm. Number one, I'm gonna have to say Tory, Drake, definitely Bryson. Mm. Um, two more, see, two more. Chris Brown, obviously. Okay, Chris shout Brown, out to like Chris Brown too. Um. I would say J.I. as well, probably, too, because I do listen to his music often as well. J.I. Yeah, J.I. for real, too. Because those are people that I can see, you know, the similarities, right? Yeah. But then I'm sure there's, like, artists that you're not even mentioning that might sound super left. Like, I'm sure if I said, yo, Mary J. Blige, you'd be like, yeah, of course, yeah, I grew up listening sure, to it, yeah. right? Yeah, and I can see, you know, the, the music you make where even older people could appreciate it, too. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you even... Think about that when you're making your records. But when I'm DJing, right, especially a lot of the new music, you have the older people like, you know, what is this? What that? Yeah. You know, always where your records, I feel like could just rock out anywhere. For is sure. that part of the process of you as an um, artist or is just... As an artist, I think that just comes naturally, honestly. You know, I just mm. listen, to, listen to a beat, listen to a tune, and, you know, I just put my own creativity into it. And whatever the outcome is, the outcome is. And if people like it, people like it. You know, I'm not really feeling for opinions or anything like that, but... You know, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Now, at this point, there's no music out, right? No music out yet. As no. we sit up here and, and just talk about what you have going on, mm -hmm. there's no music. Nobody can go on YouTube and listen to any music. Uh, Not as of now, but this Friday, I am dropping a single, So Sick. It will be on YouTube. Uh, You can check me out on Instagram as well, Josvani, J-O-S-V-A-N-I, I, two I's. So that's coming. Yeah, it's coming this Friday, May 6th. When there's no music out and you about to drop, one, it's a record, but then it's a sample, right? Yeah. It's like a remake. Do you feel a little bit of pressure? You're like, fuck, like, damn, what are people going to think of it? Nah, no pressure Not at all. all. You I'm don't very even confident care. in that record. You know, being that it's one of the first promotional use records that we're dropping, I'm very confident in it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't even be dropping it. Because you did post a snippet of it. Yeah, I posted probably like three snippets of it already. And it was all positive feedback. All positive feedback. No haters in the comments yet. No haters yet. All right, so that, that when you get the haters, that's when you know... Something is going yeah. right. Right now, it's all love. All the fans, they want you to drop it. It drops this Friday. They could go run it up on everywhere, right? Yeah, it'll it? be on YouTube and SoundCloud, man. Only because it's you know it has a sample and I can't put it gotcha. on streaming platforms. But YouTube and SoundCloud. YouTube is uh, the real Josvani, uh, the real mm -hmm. Josvani J O S V A N I. Is there a video? Did you shoot a video to it? No, nah, no video. There's no video. It'll just be a uh, just the, the, the audio. audio. Yeah. Are you shooting a video? For this video, probably not. Because probably not, because this is the throw, like yeah. a little throwaway, just to boom, get, introduction. Get people to right. get familiar who I am, you feel me? So then do you have the next like record that you feel like you're going to go with? Uh, yeah. Out of yeah, the ones I, I heard, did you play it for me? Yeah, I, I did. Um, Which half, one was half it? Half a Heart. That's, oh, Half that's, a Heart. That's the one I'm thinking about dropping next, honestly. Break down for people that haven't heard it yet, because they could go back after, you know, they watch that interview and then they could go listen to it. But break down... What you're speaking about on that record? So, Half a Heart is a relationship-based song. So, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be. It's not necessarily true, but... Mm. Is it true, be, though? For you, you it's true. If, for me, it's true, you know, but to people... It's, it's a right. relatable track. You know, people um, going through a heartbreak, things like that, how you spend so much money, so much time, so much effort into one person, and they just turn your back on you. Mm. It's like, you know, it you, doesn't matter how much money, how much time you put into this right. person... They turn your back and it's like you have half a heart, really. Like I spent, I spent all this money on you, but I spent my emotions on your heart. So that's really what the tune is about. And you know, you get more into detail about it when you listen to it, and you can be like, oh, okay, now I understand more. But do you feel like you've been through this in real life? Yeah, of course. I feel like everybody has been through this. You know, regardless, I'm, you know, nobody's life's perfect. You right. Know, you've been through relationships, things like that. And um, it don't even have to be boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah, it could, could have be, been. With a business partner, and yeah. they just turn their back on you, and Anything so you general, know can yeah. relate to it in, in that way too. So anybody listen to this track, I feel like re regardless, they can be able to relate to it. But we don't have a date when it's dropping. That yet. one we don't have a date yet, but we will have a date soon. So you gotta just wait. So sick is dropping. Make sure you go follow him. So when the record does drop, you're already ahead of it. Because I feel like a lot of times people 
wait till an artist pops off and then wants to jump on board. Yeah, always. Where in this case, he's he's here. We up here. Now's the time to we lock are. in. Yes, sir. We here. Is there anything else going on that the people should, you know, get in tune with, or is it just right now strictly uh, just the right music? Now, just just music right now. We're just focusing on music. You know, working every day. But um, yeah, just right now, tune into the music. So sick, drop in May six. Uh, everybody, tune in. And give them your IG one more time. So IG they can lock is Josvani, J O S V A N I I. Josvani with two eyes. Yes, sir. Two eyes. Get in tune because you're going to hear a lot about them. I, I guarantee you. I heard the records. I had the sneak peek. I appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate we you outside. Having... The new movement. Drewski, Josvani in the building. Anything else, boss? Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Um. Probably See, look, you got stories. Probably didn't notice, but... Uh, Definitely old, didn't notice. Your older brother went to school with my mom. Mom's Janesty. My older brother. I think so. Tommy. I think so, yeah. What school? Uh, he's, I think he was cool with Jimmy. Um, Maybe. Jimmy. Uh, damn. Yes. And then his Big sister girl. does music. Yeah. Shout out to Nene, yes. Yeah, Nene too. That, uh, that's all family. Right I was going to say, my brother really didn't go to school that much, so I don't know what... <laughs> So he probably seen her after school while yeah. they was leaving and he was outside cutting uh, yeah. class. They, um, that's all family right there. Right. That's all family. So they told me they grew up with you. They grew up with your brother. Yeah, that's a fact. See, it's a small world. It is a small world. It's crazy. So make sure you go show love, support. All that is needed. Shout out to your moms. And thanks for buying him all that equipment when he was like 16. Eight, well, how old were you? 18. I was yeah, 18. 18 when, you know. Was that like your birthday gift? Yeah, it was my birthday gift, actually. That's a good birthday gift. Yeah, I couldn't complain. I, I actually asked her personally. I'm like, hey, you know, for my birthday, can you get all this stuff? She's right. Like, yeah, of course, you know. Um, It's a commitment I had to make. You know, I, I dropped out of college to make music. For real. Right. Like, I, you know, I spent the first uh, semester in college doing architecture. I didn't like it. My mom noticed. She, she was like, yeah, I know you ain't like that. So. Nah, you're going through yeah. college right now. Being in yeah. the studio, locked in for hours a day. That's that's schooling. That's that's the thing, you know. Some parents don't, you know, right. they don't accept that. They're like, you know, being an artist, being that I don't think it's a real career, things like that. Mm. But you know, I feel like my mom accepted that from me because she recognized that I did have some sort of talent. Right. So then I guess my last question is: next year at this time, when you got your million dollar record deal, what's the first thing you buy in your mom? A new house. New house. Don't get out of Jersey for real. Look, it's on camera. It's tape. It's Mom, on camera. <laughs> get that house when he gets that deal. Hold, hold me accountable to it, too. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm going to remind you. I'll be on the radio. Like, oh, yo, yeah. don't forget your mom. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we out here. The new move, and let's get it. Pow. Get it, man.